All right, first attempt making golden powder. This is all the rage right now. I'm doing 60-40, 60, 40, 60 uh, or three parts uh, potassium nitrate and two parts ascorbic acid or vitamin C. A little bit of water. I'm not sure exactly how much. I probably put too much, but uh, I'm going to cook it until it gets a golden color. You know, break it up, screen it, and shoot it find out uh, how well this stuff works. It uh, has uh, big promises as far as a black powder substitute, but we'll see how it works. All right, this is the second attempt. First attempt, I used way too much water, and uh, it all just dissolved in the water, and I had no color indicator. So this time I used much, much less water, and uh, seems to be turning gray. And we'll keep cooking. We're looking for a golden color. We'll take it off the heat and see what happens. All right, cooking it on high. We're starting to get that golden color. I don't know if you can see it. It's definitely turning gold. So I'm gonna concentrate on what I'm doing, and I'll show you the end result. All right, we're off the heat. I'm just gonna keep mixing so it doesn't turn into a hard block. Um, it is just starting to get firmer as it cools. So we're outside, it's about eh, 43 degrees today out here. Maybe less in the shade. There's my failed experiment. I'll light that on fire in a second <laughs> just to see what happens. But uh, hopefully this stuff will go boom. Alright, and this stuff firms up. Uh, it didn't take much more than two seconds after my last shot. It's hard. So, break it up. If I'm lucky, we'll get a test burn today. All right, this stuff has some wood in it. I uh, had to use a hammer to get it off the tip of my uh, stirring stick. Try to get some of that out of there. But, there's some powder here. Don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out together. Uh, maybe it has to dry longer. I don't know. But uh, let's see what happens. Woo! All right. Well, proof of smoke. That worked pretty good. All right, this stuff is hard. Don't know how I'm gonna clean my pan. This stuff is stuck on there. Like really, really stuck on there. I was able to get some out. I was gonna use my rolling pin to kind of roll it out like I would a black powder puck, but it's too strong for that, so I just had to cover it and just whack it with the bowl, the pin. Um, it's about the size I can put it in my manual coffee grinder, the ceramic um, grinder blades whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to do that now and hopefully get some good gunpowder. And here's a shot of what I got after the manual coffee grinder. I did try to put it on a coarse sitting because I don't know how this stuff works. I don't know if um, it's better off more coarse or too fine. Uh, it's kind of new territory but uh, we're going to screen it see what we get. Maybe do a few more burn tests just for fun. Well, here's my yield. Uh, using my screening system, usually this is what I would call rifle or shotgun powder or musket powder. And this is my finer pistol powder. Um, what I have left over down here is uh, my fines. And of course, I can't recombine it and puck it like a little black powder. But what we'll do have some fun uh, torching it. There's a fair amount there so it's kind of wasteful unless I find a, a way to use it. Um, but that's my yield. I start with 100 grams. Let's uh, let's weigh it real quick. Let's find out how much we got here. All right. It's uh, for science guys. So let me get an empty cup. Uh, so, so we've got 
got some water in it. But, uh, it'll do. You know what? I'll, just, I'll get a dry cup. We'll do this. We'll do this the right way, guys. We'll tear it with the dry cup. Well, it's still zero. All right. All right. So, rifle powder is 26 grams, and pistol 34 grams. So. I'm losing a lot. Let me put this. <clears throat> so, minus nine for the uh, second cut. That's 60 grams. So, out of 100, I got 60. Um, not too good, but if you have nothing to shoot and you need something today and you don't have time to ball mill and you don't have time uh, for pressing or, or screening, even that. Uh, this is pretty darn quick, so uh, there might be a good use for it, and it's supposed to burn really clean. It's supposed to. Get a good shot of that without so much glare. So that's golden powder, guys. Guys and gals. Uh, let's do some burn tests. All right, 0.7 cc of the fines with a torch, direct flame. Hey, that's pretty fast. Not too bad. Let's try it on a piece of paper. I don't know if this stuff needs dry time or not, but I literally just made it. Let's see what it does on a piece of paper. Well, pretty good. Well, a few did ignite the powder but it definitely um, flashed before it burned that's a good sign nice and fast not a lot of residue now let's do a line test again these are fine so I expect better performance out of uh, uh, a more coarser grain let's see if I can get this in for Again, it progressed okay. Not as quick as black, my black, but um, like I said, these are fines, so I don't expect optimal performance. But so far, it looks promising. Maybe next time you see me, we'll be uh, shooting it. All right, this stuff's uh, coiled up in the pow in the paper. When I do this with black, it'll actually pop like a firecracker. So let's see if we can get that thing. Sorry, it doesn't have a wick. Let's see if maybe it'll pop for us. It's burning. Sorry guys, it's gonna take a while. You know I don't do a lot of editing. So I'm just gonna have to wait till it, <laughs> it goes. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Hopefully it don't blow my face off. Come on. Get you on fire. <laughs> well, it didn't pop, but it did shoot. <laughs> wow, it's looking kind of charred. All right, um, yeah, let's try try some more stuff, huh? All right, last thing I want to show is cleanup. I just put some water in here, put it on high, and uh, was able to scrape off the chunks. Looks like they're starting to dissolve in the water anyway. But uh, without a jackhammer, you're not getting that stuff off unless you uh, do like I'm doing here and uh, boil it off. So that's the cleanup.